Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzy. So today's makeup look, I did this very like pink tone, very glam makeup look. And it was really easy to create. So if you're interested in this look, then just please keep on watching. And if you do like this video, please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I would really appreciate it. Okay guys, so starting off, I'm going to be taking the rose water, as always, and I'm just going to mist that lightly on my skin. And I'm going to start applying my serum and my moisturizer. I also applied a little bit of eye cream. And I'm moving on to eyes. I'm taking Max Paint Only Paint Pot with the brush, and I'm going to be applying that all over my eyelids to get rid of like the discoloration and as well as prime for our eyeshadows. And for eyeshadows, I'm taking my new Morphe 35R palette. Look at how pretty it is. I'm going to be taking that bone color shadow with the fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be setting the primer in place. I was so excited when I got this palette. The colors are so pretty, like all the glitter colors and then the matte colors. I love it. And for my crease or transition color, I'm going to be mixing those two like light brown, mauve colors. I don't really know how to describe them, but they're very soft colors with this fluffy brush as well from um, BH Cosmetics. I really do like all of the Morphe shadows. I felt like these shadows blended a lot better, but overall I just love Morphe and the brand and all their makeup is just very good. And especially for the price, it's amazing. I wanted it to be like the pink tones. I went ahead and grabbed the Anastasia palette and I mixed those two like pinky colors, it's a love letter and a venetine red or venetine red? I don't know how you pronounce the other color, but I went ahead and grabbed my Morphe M441 blending brush and I'm just basically going to build those two colors as well. And I also went ahead and grabbed um, red ochre just to make it a little bit more intense also. And just going back and forth in the crease. Going in with a single shadow by Morphe in the color Brick, I'm going to be applying that onto the crease because I wanted it to be a little bit more pink with the same brush I've been using for the other three colors. And going back in with the first blending fluffy brush, I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and blended. And now with this little like flat brush, I'm going to be like defining my lid space and carving that out just so when we apply the lid color, it stands out a little bit better. After that, I went back in with the Morphe palette for the lid color and I took the lightest shade and I really liked how pigmented it looked and how like sparkly it looked. So pretty. So going back in with the Morphe M441 blending brush, I took my head a little bit back and I focused the brush a little bit more like at an angle just to make sure I'm getting in my crease very well. And for liner, as always, I'm taking the NYC look of liner and I'm going to be applying that real quick to make my wing. And now for mascara, I'm taking the Big Shot by Maybelline and I'm going to give myself a light coat of that before I apply my falsies and these are from House of Lashes. They look so pretty. So I skipped the foundation part because I feel like it's the same thing in every video. But I'm moving on to contour and taking the LA Girl Beautiful Bronze Contour. Applying that on my cheekbones, forehead and my chin and I'm just going to be blending that out with the ELF Flat Top brush. And then just going in with the beauty blender to make sure everything is nice and blended. And you always want to make sure you're blending back to your hairline. And just keep going back and forth just so everything looks very nice and seamless. I took a little bit of that on my nose as well with a little brush. Again, I'm going to blend that out with the brush first. And then just go back in with the sponge to make sure there's no harsh lines. And now for concealer, I'm taking the Master Conceal by Maybelline. And with a little brush, I'm making sure my eyeliner is very sharp and then just blend it out again. And I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for all over my face and to sit underneath my eyes. And now for bronzer, as always, my Hula Bronzer by Benefit with the little brush it comes with. And as always as well, my Milani Baked Bronzer in the color 05. And this is just a Morphe Stipple Brush. I'm going to be applying it everywhere where we applied Hula. And for blush, I'm taking Rock Couture by Benefit. And I'm going to be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And now I'm just going to be baking underneath my cheekbones and on the sides of my nose. And for highlight, I'm taking the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which is so pretty, with a Morphe fan brush. And now I'm just going to be dusting off all the powder that I have on my nose and underneath my cheekbones, making sure everything is nice and blended. 
So I guess I needed more highlight. So I just added a little bit of Mary Luminizer by the Balm. And it gave me that extra pop and as well I applied that to my inner corners. And moving back to the lower lash line, I took like those same colors I used on my crease. Lip liner, I'm taking the Jordana Rock and Rose, one of my faves. And on top of that, I'm going to be applying a Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lippy. And I have the name down in the description box because I don't really remember the name. But it was like a very pretty like nude pinky. And going back in with my liner to make sure everything was nice and blended. And the color itself was really pretty but I felt like I needed a little bit more gloss. So I just applied NYX Angel's Food Cake. And I just applied that on top of that. And that was a finished look. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you did like it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!